A girl can sense we are genuinely interested in her and not view her as some sort of lust object, just to be used for sexual gratification. It should probably come as no surprise that many girls will be more attracted because of this, or at the very least feel more comfortable around you. You're no longer giving off creepy vibes. When we retain, we are not constantly obsessed with getting gratification from a female. It seems to me that adult videos rewire our brains to place sex in women on a pedestal, and essentially program us to simp. When getting on a more solid streak, however, the need for female approval diminishes greatly and paradoxically, when we don't really need the attention or approval, we tend to get more of it. Because we have a full cup, we don't need to go around and beg for someone else to fill it for us. Retaining makes us more confident, either because of diminished feelings of shame, dopamine receptors that aren't constantly getting fried or increased testosterone. It's likely a combination of these, but the point is you simply feel more confident, and this affects everything you do. You'll walk differently, speak with more conviction and hold steadier eye contact. We could probably make a huge list of the way confidence affects you in small ways, but the thing is that women pick up on many of these. Probably not consciously, but the amount of subcommunication they notice is almost scary. They can smell it. Yes, really. I'm not an expert on pheromones, but they are essentially chemical messages transmitted from our body into the air. Potential mates subconsciously pick up on these through their noses and can thus assess a lot about your vitality, fertility, and suitability as a mate. It's probably a little more complicated but yes, in essence, they can smell it. It has to do with the energy and vibrations you send out into the universe. Now we are getting into the weird part, but there might be something to this. When we retain, we aren't just retaining some seed, we are retaining our essence. Because of this our vibe increases and we transmit this out into the universe. This draws people and situations to us. You've probably noticed that when getting on a solid streak over 30 days, you tend to get more lucky. You start to have more luck and better things suddenly start to happen to you. Guys who are into the law of attraction reported that they find it easier to manifest certain things, situations, or people into their lives. I've also read about guys experiencing synchronicities like seeing certain numbers over and over again. I can tell you that I've had these happen to some extent as well. I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but I do find it peculiar that more and more things seem to go my way, the longer I retain. To wrap up this point, I'm sure many of you have read reports of dudes going on longer streaks and from out of the blue getting hit up by exes, previous flings, or even girls they'd had crushes on. And when I say out of the blue, I mean that they'd often not heard from them or seen them for many months or even years. These could obviously be coincidences or just confirmation bias, but it blows my mind that so many men report these sorts of things while practicing SR. It really makes me think we are dealing with something truly mysterious here. Attraction Stories Now a few examples I've experienced. These aren't necessarily all attraction stories, but can also be considered girls going really out of their way to please me, do something for me. These are some that come to mind. One on holiday with some friends, we stopped to eat at a small cafe. My friends went back to the car while I went to the girl at the register to pay. I had already noticed her smiling at me and playing with her hair while I had made the order and weirdly enough, while we had been eating she had changed her clothing to wear something tighter and more revealing. I paid and she immediately struck up a conversation and asked for my Instagram. I probably stayed and talked to her for over 10 minutes while she was leaning on the counter with her arms underneath her breasts to reveal her cleavage. At one point she even subtly slid down a part of her top to reveal parts of her shoulder and upper arm, all the while literally staring into my eyes. Decided to get the hell out of there after that, haha. Two while on an airplane, a girl sitting in front and to the left of me kept looking and smiling at me. At one point she quickly tapped me on the shoulder, after coming back from the toilet, just to get my attention. Before landing, she tore up her air sickness bag, scribbled down her Instagram, got up, and handed the piece of paper to me. The funniest part is that we hadn't spoken a word and we were both wearing face masks. 3. A girl worked at one of the hotels where we were staying. I'd seen her working during breakfast and I'd conversed with her shortly a few times. I noticed that she would get nervous and shy around me but sort of fascinated at the same time. One friend of mine months later remarked that he noticed the piercing eye contact I was having with her and that he could almost feel the tension between me and her. When I checked out on the last day my friends were again waiting in the car while I paid and once again got into a conversation with this girl. This was honestly a very nice experience which I remember fondly because I found her to be sweet, pretty, and very pleasant to be around. The funniest part was that we both seemed to be so into each other that she completely forgot to ask me to return the keycard, and it hadn't even crossed my mind to return it. After nearly 15 minutes another girl, 
who handled all the payments interrupted us half annoyed because I obviously still had to pay for the room.